Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to extract audio from audio DVDs. This is an audio file tutorial, so for those people who want high quality audio, go right ahead. So, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to do this based on the uh, Nightwish album Dark Passion Play. It's already inserted into the DVD drive as you can see. Uh, you're going to need a DVD drive or a Blu-ray drive, doesn't matter if it's a burner or not. All you need to do, all you need to have is a drive that can read DVDs. So we are going to be using three programs today. One is Audio Explorer, the other one is Audacity, and the other is FUBAR. So let's get started. We're first going to be using DVD Audio Explorer. Open it up. Now, navigate to your DVD drive navigate to audio underscore ts. Now open audio underscore ts dot uh, ifo. This is going to take a few seconds. Okay, we've now loaded it up. This is the contents of the audio DVD. Each of these represents a track. I will now be using track three, which is Amanarth from this album. So select the track you want, or prefer, or you can shift click and select all of them, as can be seen here. But that's going to take up a lot of space. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to use one track, as I've already done the rest. Now go to the extract button. Here we're going to select convert to wave. Make sure these are all unchecked. Run program as well. Also, do not check these either. Now. Select a output directory. We're going to be using a folder that I'm going to create on the desktop called tutorial. Now select folder. Now press this fun button down here and it is going to start extracting. It's going to take a few seconds, so I will cut the video now. DVD Audio Explorer has now finished ex uh, extracting the uh, file. So press OK, and now you can close the DVD audio extractor. Now open Audacity. I'm going to set this to the side real quick. If you don't know how to do this, it's Windows button and then right, left, uh, right arrow key. So open up tutorial folder. Now, as you can see here, we have two tracks. One is the uh, front speakers, and one is the left and right back speakers, as well as the center speaker and subwoofer. What you're going to notice if you're going if you play one of these is it sounds a bit odd, doesn't it? That is because this audio DVD is a 5.1 surround sound DVD and does not have a stereo track. So let's create one then. What you need to do now is select both of these tracks and import them into Audacity. It's going to ask you if you want to have a copy made or not. Um, whatever You can do whatever your preference is. Uh, I'm going to not create a copy. So these are the six tracks of Dolby Digital 5.1 surround sound. We have here on the top the center speaker, then next is a subwoofer, the next is the left rear speaker, and the right rear speaker. These are the uh, front speakers. These are already in stereo, so we, don't have to, so we do not have to do any tweaking to these. But what we are going to have to do is set the lower and the upper tracks of the uh, rear speakers to right or left, respectively else it's going to sound a bit odd. So once we've done this, we can now export. I'm going to export this to the desktop into the tutorial folder again. Note that the track is going to be called this. The, inter the thing that you might want to know is this number here represents the track number. This represents the disk number. This is track number. So since this is track three, let's call it zero three dash. 
Nightwish dash Amaranth. I'm going to select select flag file. Go to options. Make sure that the sample rate is 24 bit and the uh, level is 5. Don't worry, this is in German. Um, that's because my computer is German too. So, yeah. Okay, also, you might want to know is uh, set the project frequency to 48 hertz prior to importing that, or set it to the appropriate bit, uh, frequency. But one thing you can do is figure it out using FUBAR. So open. So I'm going to open up FUBAR. You can see here I have Nightwish in there. And what you can, we can, what you can do is you can drag one of these files in, and then here in the data you can see that it's a 48 hertz, uh, 48 kilohertz sample rate. So press save. It's going to say, do you want? Uh, it's going to be. It's going to say, do you want to merge this into a stereo track? I can say, okay. Now, let's input the meta 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 data. This is from Night Wish. The title is Maranth. Title of the CD is Dark Passion Play. Track number is three. The year this, DV, uh, this audio DVD was produced is 2007, and this is rock. So now we have this metadata in, uh, input, press OK. It's going to compress it into a FLAC file. You could also use WAV or MP3 or whatever other format you like. It does not really matter. So now close Audacity. Now go back to FUBAR. I'm just going to do this real quick. Now you have this file, which is a FLAC, imported into FUBAR. As you can see, it has no uh, art in, uh, accompanying it, unlike the other tracks I've already done. So to fix this, press tagging, attach picture, front cover. These are the scans of the cover artwork for the Dark Passion Play album on audio DVD. So select front, which should be a JPEG. And as you can see, it now has album art. Now repeat this for the back cover. Disc, if you want. as well as artist. Now you can cycle between these different pictures in FUBAR. So that is it. This is now a good playable audio track, as you can tell. That was the wrong track, sorry. Sounds much better, doesn't it? Okay then. Thank you for watching my tutorial on how to rip audio DVDs. And um, if you have any questions, post them in the comment section below. And uh, all the links to the programs will be in the description. Also, you could just Google them. So, goodbye then.